Hey, what's going on, tech fans? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, continuing our coverage of CES 2014. We've made it over to MSI with Mark Tran, and they've got something incredibly awesome. You guys all know the Lightning series of cards. It's the most badass, high-end cards that they make over at MSI. Now they're gonna have the 290X version, and this thing's gonna kick some serious ass. So Mark, tell us about this new bad boy and some okay. of the things it's gonna do. So, um, what we have here is the R9-290X Lightning. It's a new addition to our Lightning series. And we changed, we made uh, quite a few changes. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the m most notable changes is that it actually it is thicker than the usual Lightning cards. The reason why we did that, we expanded the fan for the heat sink, so better air flows. But we also removed it, a um, couple of uh, heat pipes, because super pipes actually was kind of too heavy. So we removed a uh, couple of the super pipes so um, it'll be a lot more uh, better air flows and more heat do you think the lady gamers appreciate the bigger thickness of the card um i don't know you know girls like big things <laughs> i'm just thinking yeah. all right folks now as far as power goes this thing is going to be pretty unlimited it actually has options past normal like most cards only have the two eight pin power connectors but with this you have an additional six pin to get even more power to the card for extreme overclocking right yes so the six pin is actually optional you don't need to but definitely you want since amd don't have a cap on this card so that give you the ability to do you know maybe you want to do some LN2 uh, cooling in, in it and do some extreme overclocking, maybe break some world record. This will be the perfect card for you to do that. There's lots of other options on here, like here on the end, you have all of your V-Core connections right here, so this is how you can wait to monitor all your voltage of your card and everything. When you're doing LN2 and stuff like that, you wanna make sure that you're able to do that. And this card's actually designed to be able to work on a workstation type environment, correct? Yes, correct. Now, the only thing I've ever noticed with, with these cards, they work awesome. Like the 780 was awesome. The 780 Ti is awesome. The only thing about this, this little fan right here can sometimes get loud, but it also keeps your card amazingly cool. So yeah. it's kind of crazy. So the, the unique thing about this, of course, is that each, this fan and these two fans has their own controller that we have in, enabled in their software. That is, it comes with the video card. So it has own um, fan controller. Can you do it through Afterburner? Um, Afterburner, not right now, but we have our own software that's included into the 780. I mean, Right Sorry on. about that. The R9 290 Lightning. So, but you also, but you can overclock this still with the with the with the afterburner software, yes, correct? Of yes. But definitely. if you want to tinker with any of the other stuff, you actually have your own software GUI to do that, right? Yeah, definitely. Right on, folks. So here you have it, new 290X Lightning, going to be coming to your town to kick ass very soon. So look for it.